Do you want to get salty with Nerdy Crafter? Let's go. Don't wait for tomorrow. guys it's dr squish welcome back to my channel uh i hope you're doing wonderful today because i am really nervous and excited i have got a snack i have the super not another crap kit from nerdy crafter this thing is so heavy she heavy look how gorgeous this box is uh it's a special collaboration between smart art and nerdy crafter we love jackie around here we love nerdy crafter and i had to get into this but you know those youtube videos where you see a really talented sculptor and they're making something and you sit there and watch and go man that's amazing how did they do that This is not going to be anything like that. I am not a sculptor. I have never sculpted or used clay. When I say I am a beginner, this is going to be a disaster, isn't it? Jackie claims that this is beginner friendly. It was $150. We're going to review the kit, see if it's a beginner friendly, see if it was a good deal, see if it belongs in the trash. Many of you know I absolutely love cotton candy. Yes, I know I am a grown woman. Cotton candy is my favorite food. I like I have a portrait of her on the wall. So I want to make a cotton candy dragon. Can I do that? I don't know. So before I, I lose my nerve, let's go see what is in the super not another crap kit. Okay, let's get into this kit. I am so excited. It is so incredibly heavy. There's got to be a ton of stuff in this box. Ooh, fancy. I want my own Dr. Squish tissue paper. All right, let's just start pulling stuff out. We got so much to look at. First off, I got a cute brain sticker and a fidget bowl. I love it and a fidget funnel and a spatula thingy. We gotta give it a few good wax. Looks like we got some pretty clay tools and oil slick pattern and a flattened slinky. That's gonna be useful. Nice brushes and a filer, a sander. This is the uh, wings mold, three wings we can make and a paint tray. And this is the mold for the stand and some clay tools, I guess. I'm not sure, but I will figure it out. We got the plaster powder. This is probably very important. It's a big old bag and a lazy Susan, but not not the lazy Deborah. I wonder why. We got the mold. I feel like this is the most important part of the kit. The mold, you can make a horse, a dragon, a thing, an animal. It's important. We got cost clay, sculpting clay, and the airbrush. I'm super excited about this. And a sharp pointy thing. That means you guys have to subscribe. It looks like we have a mat and some chalk paint. Okay, I got everything set up and now it literally says I gotta figure it out. Uh, 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 figure it out. Actually, it says I have to prep my workspace. So I think that I have everything set up. I hope so. So I'm just gonna start rubber banding my mold. I am scared to death. I don't want any leakage, but I think this is okay. I'm gonna put some plaster into the cup and then pour it into the bowl. Uh, I think that's enough or, you know, all over the table. I can't tell you how badly I want to like shake it and compress it, but it says don't do that. I'm gonna get my wings prepared. I'm using the butterfly wings. We gotta put a little clay in the corners and then put some wire on the clay. I'm sure this will be obvious later as to why I'm doing that. I'm not sure. We're gonna put some water into the bowl right in there. I am so scared. I can't tell you how nervous I am that I'm gonna mess it up. It's kind of like making pancakes, but in a hurry and with a lot of nerves. I scraped the bottom of the bowl, making sure there was no lumpies. So now I'm pouring it into the mold. I'm only gonna do half, and then it says to pour the plaster towards its butt, and then to pour it towards its front legs to make sure all of his legs actually come out properly. And then I'm gonna fill up the rest of his head. Uh, I don't wanna overfill it, I'm so nervous. There's enough to do a pair of wings and the base. So it's really cool that those were exact measurements to do kind of exactly the wings and the base. Uh, the stuff's actually getting a little thick. And there ended up being exactly the right amount to do a base, two wings, and the sculpture. So that's cool. Now we gotta let it set. After an hour, I can unmold the sides. I'm a bit nervous, but I, I'm pretty excited to see. 
Oh, his head, guys. I didn't fill it up all the way, so his head's ridiculous. But I can fill that in with clay later. I'm sure it'll be fine. But look, it actually came out. Now I gotta unmold the base. That came out perfectly. And the wings. Oh, look how beautiful the wings are. Now I'll let it sit for another hour. And we can unmold the sides. Oh my goodness. You be quiet. I'm so scared right now. I am positive I am going to tear his legs off. So I'm just wiggle, wiggle, wiggling and pulling and wiggling just a little bit. Uh, but somehow I managed to get it out. Look, his legs are perfect. I'm so excited. And his back legs. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. She would, in fact, regret saying that later. Okay, I think we're ready to start sculpting. Uh, first off, let's do the wings. I'm gonna put some glue in the wing hole and then shove a plug of clay in the wing hole and then a little piece of wire and then we can stick the uh, wing right on after more glue. There's, there's lots of glue involved. And then I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing and just start smoothing. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm pretending to smooth. We're just gonna, there's a lot of smoothing in this video. Now we're gonna work on this cranium. The, the flatness is killing me. So I'm gonna smooth. Smooth. And I'm just gonna keep smoothing until it's actually got a head shape. Here's where it starts to get weird. So now I'm gonna give it a snoot. It needs a nose. I know it looks more like a duck bill, but I'm gonna smooth it. It's, it's a lot of smoothing. I'm gonna do the bottom of the duck bill. I mean, it needs a bottom jaw and then that's gonna look pretty good. I'm gonna give it a little tongue, kind of like it's blowing a, a raspberry. I think that's gonna look pretty darn cute in there. And uh, it needs some breathing holes, so we're gonna poke those. And an eyeball here, it needs a, another one on the other side. But these are the cheeks. I think these big poofy cheeks are gonna look really cute. Oh, <gasps> his leg! Oh no, it all went wrong! <laughs> he just toppled over and his leg snapped like me when I'm hungry in line at the post office. I cannot believe that happened, but I'm gonna try and fix it. I made a little more plaster. I'm just gonna paint it on and stick it back where it was, and then I'm painting plaster around the break. I waited an hour and it's kind of like a cast. It seems to have worked. I mean, I just need to file this down and it seems to be okay. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Okay, that was stressful. Okay, now I'm gonna keep sculpting and we're going with the hair. I'm gonna do it kind of a pompadour. So this is where you start to question everything. And uh, I'm just gonna keep sculpting. You're, it's gonna all come together. Now I'm gonna give it like cow's ears, kind of these floppy hanging down style ears. I think they're gonna look really cute, kind of make her look a little sweet. Ah, perfect, just like that. And here's what she looks like so far. I don't even know what to say, but she does need some feet, so we're gonna put four feet on her and do some more smoothing. Smooth jazz. Time to make the log, I mean her tail. So I'm rolling at her tail, she's getting glue in the butt, and then a plug of clay in the butt, and then a little wire in the butt, and then her tail is going on, and then some smoothing. Smooth like butter. There's like a lot of smoothing happening in this video, but I think she's ready to go in the oven now. I, I, I just hope that she doesn't break in there. It's been a couple of hours. This is her out of the oven. And guys, guess what? She broke in there. When he went into the oven, he was whole. When he came out of the oven, he was missing a limb. So this time I just super glued that bad boy back on there and we're just gonna move along. I'm painting it with the chalk paint. This is like the primer. It gets three full coats and it's gotta dry between each coat before I can paint it. Now it's time to airbrush. I have never done this before, but look how beautiful this is. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do it blue, but I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna mix up some of this dark blue with some of the white paint. I hope this works out. And then I'm just gonna pour that paint into the uh, airbrush and pray that it works. <gasps> My first airbrushing. Oh, it's so good. This is actually a lot of fun, but since I've never done it before, it's pretty splotchy. I feel like I could get better, but I don't love the way that, <laughs> that it turned out my first time. So since I want it to be a lot uh, less blotchy, I'm just gonna paint it all over with some acrylic paint that I had in my stash so that it can be blue all over. I'm painting the pompadour pink. Uh, you won't really be able to see it anyway, but it needs to be pink and a little bit of light pink paint on that cute tongue. And then we're going to go ahead and paint the eyeballs, this beautiful purple color. Everything seems to be going so smoothly. I spoke too soon. Another leg just snapped off in my hand. It has now officially broken more legs than it had to begin with. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> super glue it is. I'm gonna super glue it back on and we're just gonna pretend like that didn't even happen. 
These clay tools were actually perfect for giving it these tiny kawaii dots in the eyes. I thought that was awesome. Just trying to make her look a little sweeter and not so crazy. And now it's time for the cotton candy. Let me show you how I made it. You'll need a stiff wire brush and some acrylic yarn, any color. And you'll just start taking the yarn and running it over the wire brush to make this cotton candy fluff. When you do it, you just do it lightly through the brush back and forth and you end up with these fibers that just kind of can be gathered out of the brush like that and it looks just like cotton candy. So I'm gonna wrap it around my finger and just start gluing floofs to her head with this tacky glue just all over the pompadour that I made. I want it to be really high and really cute. I'm going to be building, so I'll do a little bit to start off with and just keep building round and round on her hair and other parts from there. I know she's looking a mess. Just give it some time. I'm gonna do the same thing on her tail. I want it to actually look like a big floof of cotton candy. And then her wings are gonna get some cotton candy as well. I want her wings to actually look like cones of cotton candy. So I'm gonna take my time and wrap it around uh, the top of the wings and the bottom of the wings until it actually looks like wrapped cotton candy cones like you'd get at the fair. For her legs, I'm gonna brush the tacky glue on and then really take my time and just put on kind of fiber by fiber until I get it built up looking the way that I want it on her legs. And now I'm gonna be doing a little recycling of some old eyelashes that were bound for the trash. I'm gonna clip them and put a little bit of that tacky glue on and just put them right under her eyebrow there. It's so pretty. Last thing I wanted to do is take these little star embellishments. I'm only gonna pick out the pink ones and I'm gonna use this little dotting tool to put on some of the tacky glue and glue the pink stars kind of all over her tails. I think it's gonna end up so cute. Kind of a final touch. Here she is in all of her cotton candy glory. It took a long time to get all of those fibers on her hair and on her wings and legs, but I think it ended up looking super cute. I don't know what I was expecting when I started. I don't quite think I thought she was gonna end up looking quite like this, but I am pretty pleased with her nonetheless. So <laughs> you went on that journey with me. I gotta know what your thoughts were on my process. So if you wanted to see this beautiful girl, ladies and gentlemen, her, <laughs> it's her. I love her little, <laughs> look, her cotton candy floof. It matches cotton candy over here. She's beautiful. They're both beautiful. Was it easy? No, I'm not gonna say it was easy. Was it beginner friendly? Yes, it was. There was really, really good instructions. There was a whole instruction manual, really easy to follow. There were videos, there was like a QR code. You can go to like a ton of videos Jackie has breaking down everything. All the questions were answered. So it was all beginner friendly. The next question is, was it worth it? This this kit is pricey. It's $150, but I feel like there, I just kept pulling stuff out of that box. There was so much in there. Yeah, I think it was definitely $150 worth. And I'm pretty sure I had enough to do at least three sculptures. But I think that if I had gone to like the craft store, I feel like it would have been more. Like I got so much, I got so much for the 150 bucks. It was a lot of stuff and it was all good quality stuff. I'm really impressed with this kit. I'm not so much impressed with myself. There was definitely some dragon abuse going on. Legs snapping all over the place. There may have been some cursing as uh, you know, I, it, it was 10 out of 10. The, the experience was great. The kit was great. I loved the whole thing. Whether or not you like my dragon, Listen, that's on you. I hope you guys had fun, and if you did, please consider subscribing to Dr. Squish and uh, go over and check out Nerdy Crafter. She's amazing, and uh, I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, Squishy fans.